Well, you've heard me ramble on about it all week, and the return of this cloud cover shows just how strong that low pressure is pushing down on that subtropical ridge, and that's going to continue to make its way in across the Concho Valley throughout the rest of the week. Now, that's affecting that southwesterly flow and those upper-level winds, and this is allowing for the cooling off that we're seeing right now. Into those 60s and 50s last night, bottoming out there at 50 degrees, jumping all the way up at a good 38-degree run into those upper 80s, and we talked about pushing that record set back in 1996 at 93 degrees, and then we're beginning the cooling process. Now, it's pretty late right now, still 72. That's that southwesterly flow still holding strong by tomorrow. Turning out of the north, again, talking about that low pressure, pushing back down pretty strong. That's going to keep us in the 80s right now, 72 degrees in San Angelo. Everybody else, combination of those upper 60s and those 70s. Looking at that cooling off right now as that low pressure is making its way over the Concho Valley, looking at the temperature spread outside. Only about 3 to 4 degrees there, 68 in Junction, 69 in Sterling City. Warmest spots right now, San Angelo, Ballinger, and of course, we're looking at the humidity indices. Now, they've gone way up up the southwesterly flow pulling a lot of moisture up from the Gulf. We're going to continue to see some of these conditions as we make our way towards next week as we see a dry line set up or something very similar in those 60s right now in those humidity indices. While we're still seeing those dew points really kind of come up into the 50s overnight, if not the last couple hours, really things moist or becoming more moist and humid as we see those drier conditions push off to the east. Again, this low pressure is really going to push down on us over the next couple of days. You can see the majority of that jet max sitting right over the Concho Valley before it slides off to the east. Now this ridging is going to make its way back in by about Saturday, Sunday, push us back into those 80s. And by the middle of next, we can see us back up into the 90s before the cool off into those 60s. The moisture tracker is showing you right now just how intense it's going to be as it makes its way off the east coast. That cold, dry air right in behind it. You see that moisture making its return into the Concho Valley. Behind that, we're looking at the cold air over the Rocky Mountains that could slide into our region. And then off the west coast, we're continuing to watch that circulation. That's really going to set us up for the severe weather that we're seeing right now. We died down off in the west, but over across the Ohio River Valley, still watching that storm push down on that subtropical ridge. That's that cloud cover you saw returning in the time lapse. Now we're watching as it's going to develop over the next 24 hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. Watching a lot of this dry line air push across the entire Contra Valley, more towards east Texas, while still watching that storm pound across the Rocky Mountains, Wyoming, Colorado, getting hit again. It's going to push off to the east, give us an early preview of what severe weather season could look like while we're still watching the return of some of these clouds push in from the west. That's, subtro that's the subtropical jet pushing back with and aiding with it, that low pressure system that's going to make its way in across the Rocky Mountains, that's going to push us back down into the 60s by next week. So we're looking around that time frame to see just how strong this low pressure is going to be and how cold it will be because it is expected to snow in parts of New Mexico. So tonight, southwesterly flow still keeping us warm in those 50s. Then tomorrow, we're going to be seeing that cold front push through into the 80s tomorrow, still holding strong. We're going to struggle to get there. Then as we make our way towards Thursday, Friday, that pre-weekend, we're going to drop all the way into those 70s, way down there. That's how strong that low pressure is going to be. Then as we make our way in towards the end of the weekend. We're already back into those 80s. By the middle of next week, we're really wrapping up February quickly. We're in those 90s, but take a good look at Wednesday. We're going to go from those 80s down into those 60s while those lows are going from those 40s into those 50s to those 60s, then then back down into those 50s. That's a pretty strong cold front that'll make its way through before we see some strong warming by this weekend. Stay tuned for more for the break. You're watching KSAN News.